In this session, you can learn how to get a correlation matrix from a covariance matrix. So this is our covariance matrix and I created this symbolized covariance matrix because it's easy to explain. The first step is to create a standard deviation matrix using a covariance matrix. So in this case, we have a 3 by 3 matrix as the covariance matrix. Therefore, our standard deviation matrix should also be a 3 by 3 matrix. If your covariance matrix is a 4 by 4 matrix, then your standard deviation matrix should be a 4 by 4 matrix. And then put 0 for all of diagonal values because we assume all variables are uncorrelated. Then put the same sigma value for diagonal values and get the square root of those values. So the square root of 4 is equal to 2, the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 25 is 5. So this is our standard deviation matrix. Now get the inverse of the standard deviation matrix. So this is the inverse of the standard deviation matrix. Now we have all the matrices that we need to calculate the correlation matrix. So our correlation matrix can be calculated using this formula. In this case, you have to use your knowledge of matrix multiplication. First multiply these two matrices. First row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. 1 over 2 multiplied by 4 is 2. 0 multiplied by 1 is 0. 0 multiplied by 4 is 0. So the overall answer is 2. Let's put 2 in a new matrix like this. Now consider first row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. So 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 is 1 over 2. 0 multiply 9, 0, 0 multiply minus 6, 0. So overall answer is 1 over 2. I will put 1 over 2 here. Now consider first row of the first matrix and the third column of the second matrix. 1 over 2 multiply 4 again 2, 0 multiply minus 6, 0, 0 multiply 25, 0. So oral answer is again 2, I will put 2 here. Now take second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. 0 multiplied 4, 0, 1 over 3 multiply 1, 1 over 3, 0 multiply 4 again 0. So oral answer is 1 over 3, I will put 1 over 3 here. Then consider second row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. 0 multiply 1, 0, 1 over 3, multiply 9, 3, 0 multiply minus 6, again 3. So I will put 3 here. Then consider second row of the first matrix and the third column of the second matrix. 0 multiply 4, 0, 1 over 3, multiply minus 6 is minus 2. 0 multiply 25 again 0, so overall our answer is minus 2. I will put minus 2 here. Let's consider third row of first matrix and the first column of second matrix. So 0 multiplied 4, 0, 0 multiply 1, 0, 1 over 5 multiply 4, 4 over 5. I will put 4 over 5 here. And then consider third row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. 0 multiply 1, 0, 0 multiply 9, 0, 1 over 5 multiply minus 6, minus 6 over 5. So our answer is minus 6 over 5. I will put it here. And then consider third row of the first matrix and the third column of the second matrix. 0 multiply 4, 0, 0 multiply minus 6, 0, 1 over 5 multiply 25 equal 5. So our overall answer is 5. I will put 5 here. Now we got a new matrix like this. 
then our new matrix should be multiplied by inverse of standard deviation matrix. I am not going to put all the steps here because you already know how to multiply two matrix. After multiplying these two matrix, you will get this matrix. So this is our correlation matrix.